What are, say, three pieces of advice you would give to people who are looking to succeed in business? Well, I, I, by far the best investment you can make is in yourself. I mean, that, for example, communication skills. I tell those students that come that uh, they're going to graduate schools and business and they, they're learning all these complicated formulas and all that. If they just learn to communicate better, both in writing and in person, they increase their value at least 50%. You know, I mean, it, 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 uh, if you can't communicate, somebody says, you know, it's like winking at a girl in the dark. Nothing happens, you know, basically. And, and you have to be able to get, get forth your ideas. And, uh, and that's, that's relatively easy. I did it myself with the Dale Carnegie course. Some people wish I'd taken a shorter course now in terms of my talking later on. But it, it, it's just hugely important. And you, if you invest in yourself, nobody can take it away from you. I mean, you, you and uh, the second thing, which I'll get a certain criticism for not living it, but, but I do tell the, those students, you know, that if I gave you a car and it'd be the only car you get in the rest of your life, you, you'd take care of it like you can't believe it. Any scratch, you'd fix that moment, you'd read the owner's manual, you'd keep a garage and do all these things. And you get exactly one mind and one, and one body in this world. And, and you can't start taking care of it when you're 50. By that time, you'll have rusted out if you haven't done anything. So you, you, should, you should really be sure that you just remember that you've just got one mind and body to get through life with and to do the most of it. I just read and read and read. I probably read five to six hours a day. I don't read as fast now as, as when I was younger, but I read five daily newspapers. I read a fair number of, of magazines. I read 10Ks, I read annual reports, and I read a lot of other things too. So I, I, I've always enjoyed reading. I love reading biographies. I do, I do believe in looking at history. And I, I, and I try to, I, I like to study failure, actually. And my, my partner says, all I want to know is where I'll die, so I'll never go there. And, and we want to see what has caused businesses to go bad. And the biggest thing that kills them is complacency. I mean, you, you want a, a restlessness, a feeling that, you know, that, that somebody's always after you, but you're going to stay ahead of them. You, you always want to be on the move. And, and uh, uh, when you've got a great business, you know, like Coca-Cola, which is, there aren't any like Coca-Cola, but, but uh, you really, the, the danger would always be that you rest on your laurels, but I see none of that, obviously, at Coca-Cola, but that, that, that is the key, to, to compete the same way when you've got 1.8 billion servings being sold daily as when you were selling, you know, 10 a day, and, and that restlessness, that belief that, that Tomorrow is more exciting than today. You, know, you just have to have it permeate the organization. What about life advice? Well, life advice is, uh, you know, the most important thing, uh, aside from the things I've talked about already, is, is really who you associate with. You want to associate with people that are better than you are. I mean, basically, you'll go in the direction of the people that you associate with, and, and you want to have the right heroes. Uh, you want people, if you, want to emulate somebody, you better pick very carefully who you want to emulate. And, uh, and when, obviously, you can't pick your parents, uh, uh, they're going to have an enormous influence on you, but you don't get a choice on that. But you get choices as you go down the line. And you, uh, who, you, uh, who you admire, who you, who, you, who you want to copy, and the most important for most people in terms of that decision is their spouse. It's also important in terms of a partner in business, but the partner in life is is the most important one. You, you want to pick a spouse that's a little bit better than you are. <laughs> and then he or she, and, hopefully, and you hope they don't f figure it out too fast. <laughs> Great. Never bothered me if people disagreed with what I thought, uh, as long as I felt I knew the facts. I mean, I, there's a whole bunch of things I don't know a thing about. <laughs> I just stay away from those. Uh, so I stay within what I call my circle of competence. You know, that, uh, Tom Watson said it best. He said, you know, he said, he said, I'm no genius, but I'm smart in spots and I stay around those spots. Well, I try and stay around those spots and I, I just don't have a, a problem if, if, uh, if somebody says, you know, you're wrong on something. I, just, I go back and look at the facts and, and, and I, think that, I think that really is much more important, frankly, than, than having a few points of IQ or, or having an extra course or two in, in school or anything of the sort. You need emotional stability. But what's the best advice that you've ever received? 
Uh, well, the biggest lesson, in a sense, I got is the power of unconditional love. I mean, I think there is no power on earth like unconditional love. And I think that if you offered that to your child, I mean, you're 90% of the way home.